Hello, this is Cheryl Lentz, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, talking to you on Tuesday at 2. I have, um, I had a crazy, crazy, crazy day. I had some uh, video conferences, so that's what I was, uh, didn't get as much done as I have, as I wanted to, but I did get um, quite a few, I have four extra, um, hello Cindy. I have four cards to show you using the uh, Share the Sunshine um, uh, images, which was really fun. It's going to be like one of those things if you sit down and have nobody disturb you, you could make like a million of them. So by Friday, I'll have some more. So I was really looking forward to, uh, to sharing some of those with you. Good morning, Lenore. Good afternoon. It's two o'clock. It's, it is afternoon. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes. Yeah, that's how I've been. So I declared today a pajama day. So um, I and and ironically, they have um, some images talking about pajamas, and I didn't get that one done. So, but I will by Friday. <laughs> so I will go ahead and show you how I made my little toilet paper roll. Show you the 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 one I showed you on Friday, and we'll make one today, and then I'll show you the other four that I came up with. So um, we won't keep you too long but let's get started I'll turn the camera around let me know if you're here I appreciate that well hi Patty yay and Chris I see and Cindy okay we got a party going on that's exciting let me know that you're here if you have any questions or anything let me know um, it was a busy morning also because I had to take time to place my pre-order so I have a, a rather large pre-order coming in um, I did a two-day ship so I should have it here by Friday. So depending on what time it comes on Friday, if I get some things made, I can show that to you and share some of the new stuff with you. So I'm really, really, really excited about that. So that's why I took extra time for that. I took extra time for a care call for my dad. So crazy, crazy time. But um, let's get started. I'm going to turn the camera around and we will show you how I did the toilet paper rolls. <laughs> so here we go. Let me make this a little bit bigger here. There we go. Okay. All right. So this is the card that I showed you on Friday. I think that was on Friday, right? Today is uh, Tuesday. Oh my goodness sakes. So all of this is these images that you can purchase through Stampin' Up! Um, that are called Share the Sunshine. It's for all on the COVID. So you get 16, 15 pages of images, all different sayings and verses, all different colors, some in black and white, some in, pajama, in, uh, in pajamas. Yep, yeah, see, I read this and I need to do this. I changed out of my night pajamas into my day pajamas to send you this card. So on Friday, I will have a card made with that. But um, so there's lot, just lots of images and um, so much fun. So you, you pay for the download. You can download it all you want. You want to print this on um, cardstock and then just go to town. Cut it right down the center at four and a quarter. And then you can use, I use die cuts. I tried to keep it simple. So in showing you, I used um, two sets of die cuts and that's all so that it would be kind of the same, same thing throughout. So this card, I used punches on. So that's what I have here. Let me just see if I have my other little toilet paper roll that I made here. Um, so to make your toilet paper, that's what these are, stacks of toilet paper rolls, since that was such a popular item. Um, you're going to take the smaller circle. So I used four different punches on this, on this um, project. So I used um, a half inch, a three quarter inch, and then I used, let me move some of this away here, um, a, let's see here, the one and a half inch, no, I used, yeah, okay, I used one and a half, oh my gosh, one and a half and the three quarter, and then, yeah, just three for this, for the toilet paper. Okay, so what you do is, for the toilet paper roll... I punched the smaller circle first, there, and then the big one. And I just centered around, made like a jelly donut. There we go. Donut, there we go. 
like that. And so we're going to do that. I put six of them on here, so I'm going to punch out. Hopefully I have it enough room in between here. So just kind of punching them out. Boink. <laughs> Pretty easy. And the roll, the toilet paper roll in between, you're going to do the same way. So now I have three of them. Let's do a couple more. Blink. I have to figure out something to do with all these circles now. There we go. <laughs> all right. So I was, yeah, I was reading all this stuff and going through all this and looking at it. And boy, it was a hard decision. There's so many fun things coming out in the new catalog. I, uh, I just about went crazy. I didn't order it all, folks, but I ordered most of it. <laughs> I ordered a lot because I figure, hmm, I've got a month to play with it. There we go. So now we have all of our toilet paper um, rolls. Now we have to do the inside. So I used crumb cake. And again, you're going to um, use the smaller circle first. So I'm just going to go one, two, three. Four. <laughs> huh. I'm gonna have the five, six, all, all these little circles all over the place. And then I took the three quarter inch and just cut that out. Like that. There. Ta da. And that will fit right into the center of our toilet paper. So, there we go. There we go. <laughs> It's like little noodles flying all over the place. Little, little, uh, what was that that the kids used to eat? Oh, uh, for swimming. They always had so much. Those, uh, I can't remember what the name of it was. Uh, stuff that adults wouldn't want to eat. It's not really spaghetti. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So there's all of our little circles. So I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to move this over. So this um, was follow your art paper. And I just thought this kind of looked, sort of remind me of a bathroom. <laughs> kind of, I don't know, I don't know why. But that's what it reminded me of. So I'm gonna glue that right onto my black layer here. This is five by three and three quarters. And this is five and a quarter by four. So we'll go ahead and put that on there. I was thinking about all kinds of different things to talk to you guys about, and my mind just kind of went a little blank here. So then I just did all my little circles. So these just get glued in, and I put these kind of evenly spaced here, like that, and two in the center. There. Come on, move over. I like to lay them out and kind of space them out before I start gluing everything down um, so that I get, I'm trying to get the same border all the way around here, around the outside, so it's kind of consistent in the design. There we go. I'm going to move that in just a tad. Okay. There. There we go. Move this one down. Okay. All right. So now I'm just going to glue these in. And then I'll glue in my toilet paper rolls after I have this glued down. So I'm just going to touch it, touch it, touch it. Yeah, there were so many, um, so many neat cards out there and such a need. So I thought, well, Cindy asked about this and I thought, well, we can do this. And that's how this got started. So the moral of the story is, if there's something you want to see, you just have to let me know. Because if I can do it, I am happy to. So I start at the bottom, then do the two on the top, and then I'll center the ones in the middle. So that's how I try to kind of get it even, evenly spaced. Not, I mean, it's, it's a, a hand stamp card. It's not going to be exactly perfect all over. But... We'll get it so that I like how it looks. <laughs> so there we go. 
So did everybody enjoy the beautiful weather this weekend? Oh my gosh. Travis came over. That's our younger son. Who, poor kid, lives super close to us and has to take care of all the, uh, us, Peter and I, the old people. Um, and cut down six trees in the back. He had so many trees that needed to come down. And once he got started, he just went to town. Okay, so there's that. And then we're going to do our little rolls that are, these are going to fit right inside here. Just like that. And the same, same um, punch, so they just fit right in. So I'm just going to do a little bit of tacking on here. There we go. Put it down in here. Ta-da. <laughs> Here's some Charmin for you. Maybe that was the color. I don't know. I I just thought this looked like toilet, like a bath and wallpaper or something. Oh my gosh, wallpaper. Y'all have wallpaper? Remember Lenore? Everybody did wallpaper. Lenore built at the same time we built here. And oh, that was really, it was fun going up. It was a nightmare coming down. Oh, did I not do enough of these? I guess I need one more. Two more. Oh my goodness sakes. See, I can't even count today. Holy cow. I thought I had enough of them. I don't know what I did. Or they flew away. I don't know. Well, I'm going to do two more. That would look silly. No inside on the toilet paper roll. There we go. Oh, one. I'm only short one. That one probably did fly somewhere. Who knows? We'll do another one. There's the small punch. Yeah, I did enough, but I was getting a little... Oh, here it is. Ah, found it. Okay, there we go. It was lost, but now it's found. There we go. Okay. So the nice thing about the prints is that some of them, like this one, so this is the same design, but you get one design that's in color and one design that's in black and white, which I thought was sort of fun. Anyhow, black and white. So let's go ahead and put this on my circle. And I use circle punches for these, for this card here. All the other cards I'm going to show you, I use the stitched shapes and the stitched rectangles. So there we go. Put some dimensionals on here. And then I put it on, for this one, I put it on the Coastal Cabana card base, bringing out the color of the designer paper here. I thought that looked nice. The next card I'll show you, I'm using the same paper. So we always have all this paper left over when it, when it goes out and gets retired. I don't use it in class anymore. Y'all that aren't doing classes, it's okay. It's okay to use it all, but everybody wants to have new stuff when they come to class. So, oh, where's my bow? Here it is. So I, um, I thought, I'm going to use up all the old stuff. Ribbon and DSP, we always have so much of it. This is a great project because you want to give away a lot of these. So, um... This is a great project to use that stuff on. Where's my little poker here? Let me get my poker out. Here it is. I worked, uh, it was five minutes too, and I said to Peter, I go on in five minutes. <laughs> so I had to clean up my desk and get things ready. There we go. We're just going to put that bow on there. There. Bring that out. Open up my little bow here a little bit. That's going to go right on. See how that pulls that color? It just like pops it for the designer paper. We're going to glue this down. And I think I was also on some of them trying to use up like some of the glitter dots and that kind of stuff that are going out that I won't be able to use in class. So I think I have some that are this Coastal Cabana color. So let's pull that out. And we'll put some sparkles on there too. So on the inside of the card, it says, let's just roll with it on the outside. The inside, it said, sending love. And if I could, toilet paper. <laughs> so who would believe toilet paper? Now it's going to be pork and chicken. We don't know. 
We don't know. Whatever they tell us. Go with the roll. Go with it. Whatever. It will change. It will pass. It will get better. That's how I feel. There we go. I didn't feel like that yesterday. I was doing working on a project for one of my kits, and I had such a hard time that I was down here yelling. <laughs> Poor Peter. It was like he just closed the door and went back upstairs. I, I was yelling at myself, not at him. <laughs> Technology gets the best of me. And um, yesterday it did, so I worked all afternoon on a, on a project, and then I ended up going somewhere, coming back, and last night sitting down, and getting it figured out upstairs on my phone, relaxed on the couch. <laughs> so I guess I needed, the moral of the story was back away. Just back away. Here, here's some glitter dots. Let's let's use some of these because I these are retiring. So what do you think, ladies? We can use some Coastal Cabana glitter dots on here somewhere. I got an or a green one I'm trying to sneak into the mix. Let's see here. Should we just go, we'll go one up here. Uh, my rule is an odd number, you know. And we'll put, we'll put one on either side maybe here. There. I'll put it down here. What do you think? What do you think? At the top? At the top or at the bottom? Two at the bottom. Hello, Marlene. Hello, Linda. I'm standing up. Y'all tell me, which one do you like? Do you want it over here, or do you want it down? Hmm, big decision. This is as big as my decisions get today. Here, how about here? We're gonna put it over here. Is that top heavy? This is what why it takes me so long when I'm doing designing. Because <laughs> I keep asking myself the same question. Oh, the top, thank you, Patty. Okay, there we go, I did it at the top. Thank you, Patty. Thank you for answering me. There. Okay. So, cute card, right? Here's the other version. So, it depends on the color. This time I used... I, I'm so sad that these are going out, too. My little um, sequence that have the flowers. All right. So, moving on. The next card. This is using that same paper. Um, the Follow My Art paper. And I thought of Miss Vi, if you're watching, I thought of you. I put this on Crooked because everybody's world is a little bit off kilter. So I thought, this is perfect. Wishing I was in quarantine with you. And I miss you so much. I mean, you could send that to like everybody. So I thought that was fun. And again, I used the stitched um, rectangles for that. I did a double bow. I think that this is going out too. I love this crinkle ribbon. It's so soft, and I wanted to pull a sunny, bright color out, and that's also in this paper. So that was a little touch of sunshine on there. And then I did this one. So this is using the beautiful mosaic paper. Do you see that? Can you see that? It's um, embossed. I, there's a little sparkle on there. I don't know if I can get that for you or not, but you can kind of see it. Yeah. Um, pretty sparkle paper. And I thought sometimes the paper says it all. Just kind of go with the paper. So I went with the base of this is um, So Saffron. And I used our terracotta tile. And this is supposed to be a different color. Because remember on the instructions it tells you what colors they used for each page. But to me, um, if I put it next to the terracotta tile, it looked like it. So I punched out our scallop heart. I fussy cut another butterfly to put up here. I used some of the scrap paper to make little tags here just to add it. This is all bumped up. And then in the inside, I fussy cut a flower, used another one of the designer papers from that same set, the mosaic. It's so beautiful. So we are thinking of you. I thought that was kind of a fun, a fun card too. Pretty, that's a pretty card. This one was kind of fun, quirky. Quirk, quirky this is pretty okay here's one this was actually the first one I started with this morning wash your hands spread joy not germs and I left it blank because you can just leave a nice message we need to start writing again everybody's so used to those short texts and all the special um, the art of writing a letter 
it needs to be refound, this is the perfect time. I used my little flowers again. This paper is from the Bonanza Buddy, the that birthday paper that's so cute. This ribbon is going out, so I thought I would pull in that Granny Apple Green from that. This is so saffron also. And um, so if you didn't have this granny, this ribbon, the granny green, you could use just a piece of cardstock. If I was using plain cardstock, I would emboss it because I wanted this here not only for the color but for the texture. So I thought that was sort of a fun little card that you can write and leave a nice message. Okay, this is the one that, <laughs> that everybody's going to go to. So here we go. How another quarantini. It's like normal martini, but you drink it at home alone, which is not a good thing. <laughs> so I thought this was fun. I have to pull this back because I, I have the name of the paper. So this paper, I love this DSP. It's the garden, garden lane paper. And I thought if you're sitting outside, it's a nice evening, you know, in the, with the greenery around you and <laughs> kind of pretty. And then I use my blend, so I use my dark old olive and dark cherry cobbler to color in my olives. And the martini, I use the light mint, um, light sea, um, soft sea foam, so that it was just a little bit of a color. And I thought again, off center. I mean, everything is like upside down and backwards now. So I thought, let's let's have these centered, but have our martini kind of off kilter like that. That was fun. And then inside I used another one of the coordinating prints and it just says, let's get together when this is all over. So those are the cards I did. Cindy, I promised to get more done, um, promised to get more done this week, but these were some of them. And I hope you guys are buying, looking at that um, to bought purchase because it is really fun. There's a lot of nice prints, uh, a lot of nice things to say um, lots of thank yous that you could make up to give to give out. I'm just gonna move this all up so you can see them all at once. I always hope for a shot where it has all my, all the cards in it. So there you go. They're all a little bit different, but fun. Use up your old paper. Um, yeah, offset it, make it a little quirky. Use up that old ribbon, put things together that you didn't expect. I thought that the Cherry cobbler underneath here was sort of a little punch of color and um, just to accent it more. So so that that's what I was thinking. That's what I was doing all morning. So hope you enjoyed that. You can make your own little toilet paper rolls now. <laughs> I'm going to turn the camera around. Hello, Colleen. Oh, the rose card is beautiful. I love that one too. I love that one. And Trudy, hello Trudy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So that's all I have for you today. I'm sorry, I, I really wanted to have more done, but um, I will on Friday, I'll have some more and then hopefully some sneak peeks at, at some uh, finished um, cards with new product. But it is a great thing, share the sunshine, go in and you can order that. Thank you, Chris. You can order the downloads, um, print it out, and enjoy just cut it up enjoy you can print it again that's one of the nice things right um, print it as much as you can um, there's lots of instructions on it i think it's a it's a fun thing to do and it's a nice thing to send out letters now to people that are home especially home alone i i know some people that are you know not not quarantined with somebody so while the person that's with us can be making us crazy you could be quarantined alone so, and then you're doing, you know, the martini thing. So, <laughs> everybody stay safe. I will see you on Friday, if not sooner. Thank you so much for joining me. We're up to 96 on my um, YouTube channel for subscribers. I'm trying to hit 100, so I'm four short. Come on, I, <laughs> please go to my YouTube channel. Um, this video will be put on the YouTube channel too, and it'll be on my blog at Stamping Journey. So if you have a question about anything, please let me know. You can put it on the on here on Facebook uh, questions. You can put it on the YouTube or on at Stamping Journey. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a great week. We'll see you at the end of the week.
Thank you. Loved them all. Good. Thanks, Cindy. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.